Lovely Leos. Okay, who's next? Virgo. Hey guys, so editing Tiana here. So what this is, is um, if you guys watch my eclipse video, I kind of talked about this a little bit, but if you didn't, um, these are the zodiac signs, all of the zodiac signs from um, Aries to Pisces. Um, basically what theme you guys are focusing on and what theme you, theme you guys need to need to focus on um, for probably the next 30 days or the next couple of months. It really just depends on how it resonates with you. So um, I hope you guys really like this video. I talked about the clips a little bit more um, on the post that I did last Friday. Um, go ahead and check that out. It should just be like new moon eclipse or something like that. Um, and it tells you a little bit more information. I highly would recommend that video because it can tell you what's going on in the constellations. You guys can write it down. And then once you guys come to this video, you guys can write down the theme of what's going on so you can get a bigger picture and work with the constellations instead of you feeling like the constellations are working against you. Okay. All right. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a great day. Well, let's go ahead and start with Libra since it's their birthday right now. It's going to be Scorpios pretty soon, but it's still Libra season. I'm a Libra. So <laughs> let's go ahead and start with her. Um, so Libra, this is what you guys are going to be working on or what you guys need to work on during this lunar eclipse season. Um, again, it's happening on the 25th and um, I've kind of talked about it beforehand. So Let's go ahead and get started. So, oh, beforehand, let's go ahead and pray over these cars. Holy Father, Mother Gaia, I ask you to please bring me clarity. Please bring me discernment and also protection during these readings. I call on Archangel Michael to help me with this discernment and Archangel Uriel to help me with wisdom as well. Please allow me to give away this clarity for all of the sons on the zodiacs as a collective and allow them to receive them well and understand what I am talking about. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys for your protection and thank you guys for the clarity that is needed for this reading for the collective. Namaste. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay. I like to take off my glasses for this. I like, I don't know why, but I, I see, I see better if you guys know what I mean, but. All right, so for Libra, Libra, what is Libra going to be working on for this lunar eclipse? What do they need to work on, Spirit? Ooh. You guys got two cards. Or three. Oh, wow. Drop those burdens. Whatever is going on at the bottom. This is the foundation. This is the, um, this is kind of like the theme. The theme for Libras is to really drop those burdens. Libras are always about other people. And it's finally time to step into your energy and choose you, okay? So if you're in something or if you're in a situation where you feel like there's like 10 wands on your back or you're carrying this, you need to go and dump them where they belong um, because there's better things that are coming for you, Libra. There's Ten of Cups. There's happiness on the way, but you're holding on to something. It might could be a relationship. It might could be a choice. It might could be something that um, that keeps popping up the same theme for you. So kind of hone down on what that is and release it. So these, um, so the burdens can be dropped and you can get this Ten of Cups. Okay, you've been helping out a lot of people, and now it's kind of your time to shine your time to come in within yourself or your time to come into a relationship that can feed you and hold into you, okay? And give you back the same energy, okay? Think about yourself uh, during this time, especially during the lunar eclipse, think about what's best for your masculine and feminine energy so you can have your 10 of cups. See what is best working out for you, okay? All right, let's go ahead into Scorpio. The Scorpios, what do you guys need to work on for this lunar eclipse season or on this lunar eclipse season. What do they need? Scorpios? All right, Scorpios, you guys are working on your own success right now. You guys are really putting in the work to achieve what you want. Um, you're using this energy now to really um, hone down on your personal goals or hone down on those goals that you've always wanted to achieve. Um, and it seems like it's gonna be really successful. So keep going, I'm, um, I'm rooting for you. Make sure that you're nurturing your emotions though, especially the healthy ones. Um, you guys are moving on or moving to a different, this might can even be relocation, but you guys are moving on to something different and something new for yourself. 
you guys are nurturing something really really to your heart i don't know what it is but you guys are nurturing something um and the world is asking you to just trust it trust and you know i get it i get it scorpios you guys went through it you guys have been portrayed before possibly you guys have been um been in a situation where you feel like you can't trust people and the universe is just really asking you to trust the universe right now it's really asking you to um make that choice on what you want and move forward with it because the universe is here to guide you along um with what's going on and again it's the south node is in your sign so you might be dealing with a lot of karmic things so it's really asking you about to really asking you to hone down on what's important to you um and fill those with your emotions and transmute them and to move them forward to something that is that is successful to you, that will give you that victory, that will give you that peace, give you that freedom. So really, really, really work on those emotions, those healthy emotions, master those emotions. Um, you guys are highly emotionally intelligent. So make sure that you guys are feeding the right emotions and nurturing the right emotions to get where you need to go. Because I feel like the inner universe has something stored for you, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and go on to, um, feel free to write these down as well, um, or write them on your phone to help you, to motivate you. Maybe this is confirmation for something. Maybe this is something that you're like, ping, okay, this is what I need to do. And I understand everything, everything makes sense now. All right, all right, let's go to Sags. Sagittarius. <laughs> I don't have any Sag Sagittarius friends, but they're very free and I adore and admire how truthful you guys are. You guys just speak your mind and I love it. So um, I'm working on that. 10th house and Chiron, like I said in, earlier in the video, I'm, I'm still working on my authority side and, and um, speaking my truth. Okay. All right. So Sag, what do you guys need for this full moon and what you guys are focusing on? What is it for Sagittarius? Those are, it seems like you guys are working on a lot. Um, moving on from something, you guys are um, either uh, relocating or just moving on to better things. And I feel like you know this. Like, I feel like you, um, it seems like you're thinking about it and you're pondering about it. But it's just like spirits like, okay, you need to, you need to go. You need to do this, whatever this is. Um, because it seems like it's harming you and your balance. You get the, um, you get the temperance card and then you also get the, uh, five of pentacles. You guys have to have a change of mind when it comes to your worth. You guys have to have a change of mind when it comes to your environment. Um, something is holding you, um, to where you're either like, it seems like your self-esteem is low. And it's not, it's not bringing in that balance or you're working with that balance and you're seeing what's not really good for you. You're seeing um, either what's financially not working, what's physically not working, what's, um, what's not working for your self-esteem. And the universe is asking you to move on to better things so you can have that balance. Or if you know what that balance is, go ahead and get rid of this whatever this is and that could be with anything this this is a five of pentacles so this has to do with something in your environment something with um either your worth your environment the physical or possibly another person as well since there there are two people and there's only um there's only one person here and one person there spirit is kind of guiding you to something better but you're still kind of stuck into this uh either financial rut or some kind of rut okay so um Use your action and move forward. Use your fire energy and move forward. Be truthful to yourself. You guys know what it is. You guys are very, and that's, what, that's probably why I said that again. You guys are really truthful. You guys know what it is. So just do it. Um, stop hanging on to things that are unhealthy for you and just move forward wherever, wherever spirit's leading you, okay? Let's go ahead and get to our cap. Capricorn, ooh, I love Capricorns too. Um, I dated two Capricorns. Um, you guys, okay, I dated a Capricorn rising and then like a Capricorn sun. And you guys are hard workers and you guys not only hard workers, but you guys are hard on yourselves. I really admire how much you guys work hard on things because like I, I, I'm a very emotional being. 
I move through my emotions and I'm trying, I'm trying to learn how to balance that out with the physical and here and everything. And you guys know how to get into the bag. You guys always know how to get to the bag. You guys know what to do. You guys know how to talk or walk the walk. Like, so let's see what's going on for Capricorn for this full moon, or not full moon, I'm sorry, this lunar eclipse that's going on in Scorpio. Let's see what you guys need to focus on during this time for Capricorns. Get out of your head, get out of your mind, whatever is going on. Um, you see how this woman is, um, feels like she's like, tied to something and like all of these swords around her i feel like these swords is like your mind your mind is letting getting the best of you because what you need to do is to make a plan to um implement a plan to move on to better things implement a plan to um i'm hearing build that dream home or build to build something within you that you know that you can thrive on and get out of your mind get out of your head um, and this, these swords can also be the environment as well. It just really depends on your situation. But Spirit's really asking you to implement a plan, start a plan to um, move on from um, this pain, this anxiety, this whatever is going on inside and move on to bigger and better things. And, but implement a plan to do so. Um, and if you guys need help, I mean, Spirit's like ask for help, okay? like these swords or not these swords these um wands are here for a reason these wands can be two other people it can be ideas it can be um it can be literally anything but you're going on a solo ride here and you need to implement a plan to do so um to do what's best for you um implement those goals think about your goals okay maybe you've been thinking about pe people way too much like think about what you want think about the personal goals that you want to achieve and start making a plan to do that um so right now you guys are like in planning mode i feel like for you especially once capricorn season starts things are going to start um either crystallizing and in, in like within you or crystallizing within the physical with if you guys you know plan these um to start implementing a plan within um what you want or your personal goals focusing on yourself okay so um let's go ahead and go to aquarius um i can't believe pluto is going to aquarius next month or in the next couple of months i'm too excited for that because aquarius is like the human consciousness like conscious like that's why aquarius is always are a step ahead of everyone because they think outside of the box all of the time like and they pour down to humanity i mean zendaya for instance like oh, anyone love zendaya? zendaya stop getting off the track aquarius what do you guys need to know for this lunar eclipse what do you guys need to focus on mm, you guys are doing something here oh and spirit got your fucking back i don't know okay so something is I'm not going to show you this card yet, but something is coming either to a close or something is beginning within you. You have literally, literally the will of fortune. This brings good luck. This brings um, divine intervention. This brings um, things just turning around for you. Like this will is turning for you because it's upright. I don't know what's going on, but this eclipse is going to start something that is so powerful for you that will allow you to recognize what you need to what pentacle you need to focus on this pentacle here can be a project this could be a job this could be um something that you're trying to literally build for yourself this is a page of pentacles so you're starting off with something um that's kind of it's not like new to you but you have to like build upon it it seems like it seems like you need to um focus on this to make this will of fortune happen this will to turn into your favor because i feel like this page of pentacles is going to be big this page of pentacles is going to help you out so much and it's going to build it feels like your character a little bit it's going to add like a like a like a not like a new identity but maybe a new identity but it feels like a a new layer of you whatever this page of pentacles whatever you're working on keep working on it um focus on it this will is turning spirit is on your side you might have something that will fall apart but that is a sign that you are literally failures and like 
just stuff like that is a sign that you are doing something right because you have a chance to rebuild it on what you learned that wasn't working and then also like what you need to do and having like the focus and the determination to do so. So something might happen in the physical that would be like, what the fuck? But you, you focusing on this page of pentacles, you focusing on this thing, it's what's gonna make that will turn even more and have a bigger reward, okay? This is giving me like Pluto and Aquarius. I mean, Pluto and Aquarius is gonna be huge itself. That's why Spirit wants you to focus on this page of pentacles, whatever it is. It could be a, um, a project, it could literally be an idea, it could be whatever you are focusing on right now to make your life better and stable and just gathering more pentacles yourself keep going and keep doing that okay it seems like you already have an, a plan in place or you're making a plan or maybe this is just a start like oh my gosh this is the idea this is what i need to do whatever it is do it keep going divine is on your side there's there might be divine intervention happening um but this will is turning in your favor for you and there will be good luck on the other side so keep going that makes me so happy for you guys okay um next pisces all right pisces shout out to all my pisces that's my um my soul um neptune is my soul planet and neptune rules pisces so i love pisces they get me they understand me my best friend in high school is pisces so love her but okay for pisces let's see what do you guys need to focus on during this lunar eclipse Ooh. <laughs> okay so sit on your motherfucking throne okay sit on that throne look at you look at you and then look at this kings it's about your masterpiece I don't know what is going on, what action you're taking, um, what you're seeing outside of yourself, but whatever it is, take action on it. But be um, be sure to pace yourself. Be sure to pace yourself because whatever this is, whatever action, whatever creativity, whatever thing that whatever you're working on, it's through your emotions, through your um, you mastering your emotions, and it actually this this emotions or you mastering your emotions helps you with whatever you're building whatever you're taking action on whatever your passion is so move through your emotions but move make sure you move through those healthy emotions um dissolve the ones that aren't working for you and move through this action what do you want to do pisces what do you want to do like why are you here let's okay like think about those questions think about those bigger questions because you guys have two kings here you guys have two kings and kings are all about authority it is time to take charge of your life it is time to take control of your life and do whatever you want what do you want to create in the world what action are you going to create in the world you know what i'm saying spirit is on your ass right now like he is so serious like he's like spirits like i'm sorry he's saying i'm saying he because of the kings um, but he wants you to take action and sit on your own throne, okay? Don't, don't go into the waters of everyone else, okay? Don't, don't escape. Have control with your emotions and what actions you need to take and what's best for you. I feel like, I feel like you guys need to also understand that you are the one in control of your life and no one else is going to do it, but like but you no one knows you like you but you okay don't let like don't let other things skew your vision because you know you guys are ruled by neptune and neptune always has rose colored glasses on take those fucking glasses off see your reality for what it is and move accordingly okay move those move and take action on what's needed okay so you can master whatever you're mastering i feel like it's really good for you whatever you're creating i think it's really good for you um and that can even be with like not only like um project but also it can be it can be dealing like with work or it can be dealing with um creating your own business you know what i'm saying this is a time to take charge of your life and take action into that passion that you are passionate about, okay? Take control, okay? 
don't make any excuses there's nobody but you do not do not play in the victim role okay you are a fucking survivor you could do this this is you this is what the universe needs from you this is what you need to focus on is your action okay you need to focus on your passion all right you guys have both kings you guys know your emotions so well do not indulge in the bad ones move forward with what's healthy for you do not escape do not have those rose colored glasses on this fire in you is here for you to help you to motivate you to move forward and take action on what you need to take action on okay pisces get your shit together i'm just kidding i love you guys but seriously i have a lot of pisces energy so i get it um capricorn Aquarius, pisces Aries, 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 Aries. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop for a second because I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I used to hate Aries, like literally all Aries. And I'm sorry for anyone that I've met that 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 wasn't Aries. I could literally sense when people are Aries because I, because it's my sister sign. Okay, anything that's like Libra is um, sisters with Aries. Okay, and Virgos is sisters with Pisces. I like it's just because I don't have a lot of Aries energy within me and I have to learn again with Chiron being in my 10th house um, and it being in Aries I have to learn how to be authoritative I have to be direct I have to be fast I have to be you know and I and I think I was I, I've been so I didn't like Aries first off because of my trauma and I had to forgive myself for that and also the people around me um, but not only with my trauma but also because I didn't know how to use that energy. So I was so, I was just so like nonchalant, like, oh, that's an Aries. But I was really jealous because I didn't know how to have that fire and directness and, and action within me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm working, I want to be honest with you guys, I'm working on doing that. And I'm working on really stepping out of myself to understand, okay, why do I not like this person just because they're an Aries? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's way deeper than that. I'm starting to realize that it's deeper than that. And so um, ever since then, especially working with um, an Aries, it really opened up my heart and understood that Aries are, Aries are good people, okay? <laughs> and they're so, it, it, Aries is like the first sign of the Zodiac. So they're the baby of the Zodiac. So just understanding like where Aries is and how I can, I have the same qualities as well. I just have to work a little bit harder to do that. Um, it's helped me so much with people that are um, an Aries sign and it, and it helps with my emotions because I'm not really feeding those unhealthy trauma emotions anymore. I'm feeding like, you know, what's now and what's now has nothing to do like the people that I've met had nothing to do with my trauma and I had to tell myself that and I had to keep telling myself that because you know our brains are like computers and until you do things repetitively it won't change like you know what I'm saying so shout out to fucking Aries because I love everything that y'all do like I'm very inspired that you guys are so direct and you guys are so passionate with what you guys do and I'm very grateful that you guys are in my life and like here to motivate the world to do better so shout out to Aries. All right, let's see what you guys are working on for the month of, I hope that wasn't too vulnerable guys. Like, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, like I, I'm not afraid to tell you guys what's going on. I'm a Scorpio moon. I, I like doing that. I like being vulnerable. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Okay, you guys got two. Mm, listen to your, um, listen to your intuition, whatever is going on, listen to your intuition. Um, because she's trying to tell you something. I don't know what it is. Here you have the hanged man, seven of cups. So um, a lot of things are going on um, within not only the mind, but your emotions. Or there might be a lot of options here or a lot of things speaking within you that um, that's kind of making you not see things either for what it is or clearly or not allowing you to step out of your own box. What are these here for? What are these cups here for? What are these options here for? I'm just getting strongly to listen to your intuition and think of another perspective because these cups are just getting in your way of what's needed, okay? So really just think out of the box and listen to your intuition as you go. Um, 
no matter how scary that is, okay, um, something from your intuition is very vital for you. And I feel like the way to tap into this is to look at things from another perspective and not allow your emotions or things that in the environment or things that's going on to weigh heavy on you, okay? You don't have to have the weight of the world, okay? Just really focus on your perspective and your intuition right now because this right here is, is going to make you go into two different directions that you don't want to. So really listen to yourself and your intuition on what's best and see what that perspective is, that, that change, that enlightenment that you need, okay? Because it's very foggy right now for you. L listen to that, your intuition and see what needs to be en enlightened. I feel like Aries is going through it, like a, an awakening right now. And so with that going on, a lot of things can be coming up for you right now. Hence the seven of cups. So you allow yourself to really just shut everything off, right? Go within, listen, listen deeply and see that change, that adjustment that your intuition is trying to tell you. See what new perspective that you need. See that enlightenment that you need because right now you're really, really caught up into the seven of cups. You're really caught up into all of these cups right now. So and your intuition is really asking you to just hone down and think about another perspective, okay? Let's go ahead and go to um, twins. I love you guys. I mean, you guys are like ruled by Venus as well. I'm ruled by Venus sun-wise. And um, you guys are beautiful beings. You guys are very stubborn, but you guys always um, are so stable, like so stable. Um, and you guys love to try new things and travel and everything. So I, I love that. Go ahead and go to Taurus. You need to prioritize, baby. You need to prioritize yourself. You need to prioritize um, what you're holding sacred to right now. And you also need to have a lot of patience with um, the environment around you. Um, you have to, it's like step by step for you right now. You are building something really good for yourself. Um, and the universe seems like it has something for you, but you're not taking it. Again, I said Tauruses are very stubborn. So I mean, I get it, but there's change that is coming. So you have to allow yourself to surrender and just really go with the flow right now. Be in your feminine energy. That's what the universe needs from you is to be in your feminine energy. Don't do, do, do and go, go, go. Be in that feminine energy and see what needs, see what the universe is trying to give you. And it might be right clear in your face, you know what I'm saying? But the universe is just really asking you to take care of yourself right now and to not be so stubborn to what is coming, okay? Don't be so stubborn to change because this cup can be really beautiful for you. Heavy on the, the feminine energy, heavy on um, self-care. This is you right here. It needs you to be you. It needs you to be grounded as well. So whatever is coming, don't, don't turn your head on it, okay? Like, just see it, just see what it is, try it, whatever it is, you got this. Don't be so stubborn to change, okay? I feel like this is like a card that is trying to um, help you with with some type of stability for something and you're not, you're not, you're just rejecting it. And this could be stability within your emotions or this could be stability with a new beginning, stability with um, um, new feelings for yourself, like literally anything. Um, but it's just really asking you to take that cup, take, take what the universe is giving you and focus on yourself, focus on that stability, focus on that, you see that pinnacle right there? Let's see. If... Yeah, focus on that, whatever it is, focus on, um, on what you need, okay? Whatever that means to you. Self-care, patience, focus, um, gentleness, be calm, you don't, you guys are, are so like, um, you guys can be very tense at times because the universe is trying to change something for you and you don't want that. So you'll do everything in your power to not. 
um, go through that change. So it's just really asking you to just sit with yourself and be honest with yourself and see what this cup really is about, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go to Gemini, Gemini. Oh gosh, Curious George. <laughs> That's what I call Gemini's, Curious Georges. Um, I love Gemini's. They bring so much life and color into my world, it's not even funny. Um, okay, let's go ahead with Gemini's. What do they need to focus on during this full moon? Okay, take that cup as well. Also, you might be focusing on finances, you might be focusing on building something for yourself. And it seems like you're doing it so much that you're you're missing out on something else, okay? So go slow with it, especially Mars being in your sign, go slow with what's going on and see what the universe is trying to hand to you because it seems like they're trying to hand you something but you're so focused on this page that it's like, okay, like I'm doing the right thing, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And it's like you're kind of going off course because you're so focused on this and you're not allowing the universe to give you what you need to for the rest of it. It's like you like building up like this recipe and like you're like, okay, I got the fire and gotta do that, gotta do that. Okay, okay, this is what it's like. You, you're putting all the ingredients together for this, this, um, you baking something right and you're looking all over for this one this one thing okay you're looking for it but it's right in front of your face but you're so focused on like trying to find it that it's like it's not there and you're like hmm, like why isn't it here why isn't it showing up so really take a step back and go slower on what you're focusing on um so that so the universe can hand you what you need okay and um, what you're building is good. It's just make sure that you're, um, make sure you're not rushing anything, okay? Um, make sure that you're just really trying your best to not, not go like turtle slow, but just pace yourself because the universe might have something for you that you need that, um, you could miss if you're going and focusing too much on this pentacle. Okay, so s just slow down a little bit. Also with Gemini's, they're really fast, okay? Like they want, it's not that they want everything now, it's just like, it's an air sign so they can move really fast. And with this Mars retrograde, it can really slow them down and it's they kind of can get irritated by it. Like things aren't moving fast enough, but the universe is asking you to slow down because they have something for you, okay? And the more, the more that you pace yourself, the more better it'll be, okay? Even though um, mentally it feels like you're not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? So curious, George, calm down, uh, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but who's next? Cancer, oh babies, I'm a Cancer rising, so. Ooh. You guys are on an adventure for sure. You guys are starting something either that you've never done before or you've done it before, but you doubt it yourself and you're like, but this time it's different because not only are you creating it, but you're fighting for it. And I love this for cancers because cancers, they, so, so many people are like water signs, like they're just so emotional and all this and all that. But once, once a water signs create something, their dedication to it, is like no fucking other. So cancers, yes, whatever you're doing, yes, create that, create the magician, know that you're the magician first off, create this adventure for yourself, have fun with it, fight for your rights, fight for your birthright to create whatever you want to create, no matter what that is, and go for it, okay? You guys are going on an adventure that's really going to help you out next year. Whatever you're creating now is really going to help you out next year. So keep going and fighting for it, okay? No doubt here, okay? No, um, no, I wish I could have, should have, would have, whatever. Don't let that mind get to you. Have that fire, fire energy within you. Have that passion in you and take, take the action to do whatever you need to do to create whatever you're creating. Whatever you're creating, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I love them. 
cancers. Okay, um, who's next? Leo. I love Leo's first off. Um, I adore their energy. I love their confidence. They always say the things that I wish I could say. <laughs> so uh, anyways, okay, let's see what Leo needs to focus on during this lunar eclipse. Um, okay. Mm. You guys need to, you guys need to move forward and nurture yourself. So you guys need to learn how I think Leo's are so in because Leo's are for other people as well. Like they shine their light to other people so other people can see the light within them, right? And that can get so overboard to where you feel like you have to be not perfect, but like you have to be, cause like it's in the in between the signs of Virgo and Cancer. Virgo is very much perfectionism. It's very much problem solving. And Cancer is more about nurturing those emotions, nurturing and protecting the people that they love. And when you're in, when you're with in between a Virgo and a Cancer, that kind of just meshes together and you add that pride to it as well. And you want to be there for everyone. But Spirit's kind of asking you to be there for yourself and nurture yourself and move forward with what you need to move forward on. Nurture the things that you need to nurture um, and not for publicity, okay? For truly yourself and what you need to work on. I think your feminine side is calling you because it's been so, Leo is a very masculine sign, it's ruled by the sun. So it's asking you to really go into that, into those emotions, into that moon and to move forward because I think your emotions have something for you. I think that you see those two lines right there. I feel like that they have something for you. Like it's, it's that balance. I think you're so into your masculine that you forgot about your feminine. So. It's really just about nurturing yourself and not because, oh, when I nurture myself, then, um, you know, I can, um, it's just like not nurturing for, um, for other people. It's just really nurturing. It's asking you to move forward to nurture yourself and nurture what's meaningful to you and being your own mother parent, okay? Rather, rather if you're a boy or a girl, okay? Really have those nurturing tendencies and stop doing things for just for the sake of others or just for the sake, for, sake of your pride, okay? Put the pride down. <laughs> You don't need it right now. You need to love yourself, okay? And move forward to bigger and better things. Love you, Leos. Okay, who's next? Virgo. My last sign. I love you, Virgos. I'm a Virgo Libra cusp, so I get it. Perfectionism is at its um at its best. Um, but I love my Virgos. They are so kind. They always think about other people. They're always putting themselves last um, because they want to help other people. They're always that certain, like they're always giving their services to people rather if that's just energy itself, information, work, anything. They're all about service. So I really appreciate you guys um, for doing the things that you do for other people. Um, so let's see what's going on for you for what you need to focus on for this lunar eclipse. I'm hearing stop deceiving yourself. Um, stop self-sabotaging yourself. Look what the universe has for you. It feels to me that like the universe is trying to give you this celebration. This universe is trying to give you this happy place, but it feels as though you're so stuck. You are like, but also at the same time, which I like this, hold on. Although you're stuck, you feel like you're just, you know, um, Virgos can play a part of being victims, right? Um, it's a pure sign. It's a innocent sign. So, and it's, it's one of the signs that have like the most victim mentalities, right? So I feel like you're still stuck in this victim mentality. It's either that or you're working and looking at your finances or something that you can build bigger on. And, um, but I feel like you're going to get out of this victim mindset and soon shine the light on what you've been self-sabotaging yourself with and what you've been like, you know, you're understanding that 
this is your life and you're in control of it. So what is it that is deceitful? What is it? You're learning your discernment. Once Virgos have that strong discernment on what they need to do for um, themselves, it's literally like this. Like It's like nothing is stopping them to create this happiness. Virgo's lives, like if you are a high vibrational Virgo, like you are living the fucking dream, okay? Like Virgos are so good at everything that they do. And they have those, um, you know, those perfectionisms, like what can I do to make things better? What can I perfect? And it's not really about perfecting anything. It's about looking at the swords that you've, um, that you've been taking from what you've been handed to down in childhood. How can you take those swords and shine a light on them to see, okay, what can I transmute these swords to? Let me stop self self-sabotaging and um deceiving myself or attracting deceiving people what can i do to transmute this energy to make something bigger than myself and have the life i want okay this this lunar eclipse for you is shining a light on your behaviors your victim mindset um what's been holding you back you are well aware of that virgo especially during this eclipse so you know what life you want to live you just have to make the steps to get there okay and that's why i'm having mixed emotions with this card because i see this card as a victim mindset and like oh poor me but i also see it as like hmm what can i do with this what what can i build with this like you know what i'm saying so really look at that and really look at like just especially with the full moon like what was going on during this full moon on the ninth like what was that for you journal about that okay um, and then we are going to pull a collective card, just one card for all of the zodiac signs. Actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to do it for each element. So I'm going to do it for fire signs. So I'm going to do water signs, earth signs, and then air signs. Okay. This is coming from each element. Okay. So for, I'm going to go, I'm going to start with, um, air sign since we started with Libra. So let's see what's going on. What? messages angels does the air signs need for right now what message do they need right now for air signs oh, oh my goodness air signs you are i mean aquarius libra gemini y'all are brewing up something um blessings and abundance is coming your way for sure and expect miracles okay so here with this, I'm feeling surrender and manifest, ask and receive like type energy, okay? So really, really, really hone down on what your personal goals is, whatever that is to you, because next year it's gonna be huge for you, okay? And what you're building, it's going to affect, it's gonna have a ripple effect, it feels like. Okay, so expect miracles and abundance and blessings to come your way. Step out of the way of the universe. Step out of the way, okay? Don't let your mind get to you. Those air signs, that mind can be either really helpful or very self-destructive, okay? Remember that. So that's for my air signs. Now let's get into the fire signs. Fire signs, what do they need to know, angels? Fire signs, what do they need to know? Fire? A fire element of this one. Oh. Ooh. Okay, you guys are being guided are guided right now and you guys have to pull up your strength because there's a lot of things in your life that you need to say no to. Um I feel like with fire signs, since like they're always just like on go and everything, I think it's just really time to slow down for the fire signs. Like it's really time to to um, to build that strength again, but not build it from an e egotistical, unhealthy way. It's time to build your strength in a way that can provide um, healthiness for not only yourself but for your relationships for um what you're doing so it's really time to um just step back for a second rest say no if you need to 
um, and have that guidance on, okay, this is what I need to do next. Like step by step again, like I said, step by step, brick by brick, having the strength to, um, even, even if it feels like it's like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. This is what spirit wants me to do. Yes, it does. Say no to what no longer serves you. Say no to the things that aren't right for you. Build up your strength, not from an ego place, but from a place of love, from a place of freedom, from a place of, yes, I'm going to do this for myself and say no to things that aren't for you or for yourself, okay? It's time to take things slow and be guided by spirit right now, okay? Say no to your ego, say no to, and I think that's the biggest problem with them, um, fire signs especially, because that fire, um, fire energy is very, very helpful or it can be very, very um, scattered. And right now, things are very scattered but Spirit's really asking me to just really slow down right now and just really take it step by step on what you need to do, um, the things that you need to take care of. Um, and I think it's really just being and protecting yourself and having self-care and not really think about others right now. This, I mean, just, and this is for all of us, like this is a time for you and hone down on com in committing to yourself, okay? So have, build the strength for yourself and be, and be okay with being guided by your spirit, with your intuition, with um, with the things that you are saying yes to, okay? If that makes sense. All right, so let's go ahead and move forward with the water signs. What is the water signs need to know, angels? Water signs. Water signs, water signs. All right, forgiveness and understanding. So a lot of you guys are, I feel like you guys are building something. Um, a lot of water signs are building their legacy right now, I feel like, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but what's getting in the way is um, a closed heart, maybe, or closed mind, because um, you were remembering like what you've been through and you don't wanna repeat it again. But you doing that is actually hardening things, like hardening your heart and closing your heart rather than opening it. So you having the discernment to either, I mean, walk away if you need to, but also forgiving yourself so you so you can forgive that other person. Remember, forgiveness is never about the other person. It's about yourself so to free yourself and understand and have an understanding um, that things just happen and it is what it is. Like you can only change now. You can only do like what's best for you right now. And if you have the forgiveness and understanding of that and walk away from that old mindset, that old identity, that past, you are going to make a sacred plan for yourself to get the fuck out of the old and into the new. Um, and you are going to thrive into this. And it can be scary. And that's why some some water signs are, you know, reverting back to the past and, um, you know, blame shame, guilting other people, that's not gonna help anything. But when you forgive you and forgive other people and understand that that's just what happened and um, and rewriting your story, this sacred plan is gonna come in. This, the tranquility is gonna come in. This intuitive energy, um, water signs are very intuitive. It's gonna come in and you making a plan to do that is going to help. So initiate a plan and it's okay that it changes all right initiate that plan uh, make it sacred to you manifest what you need and the universe shall provide okay make that sacred plan for yourself water signs all right what do the earth signs need to know earth signs. Oh. Oh. i have joy and, cont and contentment with the now if you're not satisfied with what the now, uh, take a step back and surrender. Surrender to mother, mother and father, God. And see what you can do afterwards on building that joy and contentment for yourself, okay? Again, I feel like earth signs, it's right now for you guys, it's really good for you guys to take things slow, step by step, break away, big break break as well. Just really surrendering to what's now. Earth signs can be very stubborn and they don't like change. 
Um, so really, really try to surrender to the change right now because the mother and father God has something bigger than what you're what you're holding on to. This joy and contentment is on the way, but you have to be able to step back, see what it is, surrender, and then once you feel like you have enough energy and movement and you feel like there's that momentum in you, then you move, you start moving again, okay? Make sure that you take a step back for yourself and surrender, okay? And see what you've been stubborn in. That will help. I hope this guys, I hope this helped you guys. If you guys could um, let me know what um, you guys thought about it. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know um, if you guys want to do more videos like this. I'm so excited to post this. This is one of my first astrological slash intuitive videos ever on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.